Hello everyone and welcome to today's economics class. This is Pratap Hegde taking class for BCom fourth semester. Dear students, today we are going to start the second unit of your syllabus that's balance of payments and exchange rates. Today we are going to talk about the concept of balance of trade. What do you mean by balance of trade? That's the first question. The balance of trade is the difference between a country's imports and exports over a period of time. The balance here means the residue or the, the difference that is between a country's imports and exports over a definite time period. Usually that is calculated per year. It is the largest component of the balance of payments for all nations. Then there arises a doubt. What do you mean by balance of payments? That topic we will be studying in the next video. For today, for this video, we will be focusing on the concept of balance of only balance of trade. So, the balance of trade is one of the indicators of economy. How the economy is moving forward, how the economy is progressing or what is the condition of that economy. Then, what are the concepts or what are the factors of balance of trade? What is debited from the country's economy? The items that are debited from the country's economy are foreign aid, imports and domestic spending and the third component is investments abroad. Then what is credited to the economy? The credited items include exports, foreign spending, and also investments in domestic economy. So, these are the basic components of the balance of trade. What is the importance of balance of trade? First of all, it shows how a country competes in a global marketplace. It shows is the country an exporting country or is the country importing country? Is the country producing more goods and services and exporting or it shows is the country dependent on itself or is the country dependent on other countries more? The second is it determines the health of the economy and its relationship with the rest of the world. It shows us the socio-political and economical relations of a country with the rest of the world. And also it includes physical goods and intangible services. The difference only between balance of trade and balance of payment is that balance of trade takes into account only the exchange of physical goods and intangible services. But balance of payment is the difference between all the goods and services imported and exported. So I think the difference between balance of trade and balance of payment is clear. Now we will be moving towards the other benefits or the importance of balance of trade. It is very important piece of understanding for the global puzzle of international trade. It tries to explain the relationship of that country with the rest of the world. It tries to simplify and it tries to explain the puzzles or the confusion in the understanding of international trade. Next, there are different types of balance of trade. First one is positive balance of trade or favorable balance of trade and also it can be called as surplus balance of trade also. Now, what do you mean by positive balance of trade or favorable balance of trade? It is when the exports are greater than imports, then we call it that country has a balance of trade that is positive or favorable understood when the exports are greater than the imports of a country that balance of trade is called as favorable or positive balance of trade then what do you mean by the negative balance of trade or the unfavorable balance of trade or we can also name it as deficit balance of trade also then if the positive balance of trade is exports are greater than imports then the negative balance of trade has to be imports greater than exports, isn't it? 
yes when the imports of a country are greater or higher than the exports of a country then that balance of trade is called as negative or unfavorable or also called as deficit balance of trade and then there is another concept called as balanced balance of trade balanced balance of trade is a situation where a country's exports are exactly as equal to its imports that happens in very rare occasions in very rare situations mostly we will see these two kinds of balance of trades that is positive balance of trade or negative balance of trade these are the more uh, seen kinds of balance of trades then we will be studying about the factors affecting the balance of trade what affects the balance of trade or what affects the export and import of a country first of all the cost of production in exporting economy compared to that in importing economy as in the previous chapter we studied how a country tries to export more of that commodity in which it has favorable cost cost of production it in which it has advantages in the production so a country which has more advantage in production of any commodity or any service it tries to produce more of that commodity and it also tries to earn more by exporting that commodity to other countries isn't it yes the cost of production plays a major role in deciding if that country is an exporting country or an importing country the second point or the factor that affects the balance of trade is exchange rates exchange rates is applied to the currency of a country the rate at which one country's currency is exchanged with the other country's currency is called as exchange rate understood the exchange rates also play a major role in deciding the export and importing situation of that country if the exchange rates are favorable then there will be international trade the next factor that affects balance of trade is restrictions on trade as we know already some countries have more restrictions on import and exports of commodity out of that country and some countries do not have much of that restrictions so this type of restriction on the quantity of restriction and the severity of the restrictions on foreign trade also plays a major role in deciding the country's balance of trade next factor is cost and availability of inputs like raw materials of that country if the country has abundant raw materials and it has uh, capacity to use that raw material with a low cost then it will be a more exporting country and if that country does not have much raw materials and natural resources then that country will be a more importing country the next factor is price of locally manufactured goods and other factor is availability of sufficient foreign exchange to be used for payment of inputs now what do you mean by foreign exchange surplus or the availability of sufficient foreign exchange as we know that every country has certain foreign currencies in its central banks in order to pay for the foreign country while importing any kind of goods or services that is fiscal reserve or that is forex reserves so foreign exchange also plays a major role in deciding if that country status is importing country or that country status is exporting country so these are all the factors that affects balance of trade of a economy to conclude balance of trade usually differs across business cycles in a different business cycle that country may be an exporting economy and in a different business cycle that country may be an importing economy so all this export and import scenario depends on the business cycle that country is going through the next part is where exports are more than imports there will be improvement of balance of trade 
then it is during the expansion of an economy a country that is characterized with high domestic or import demand will experience an unfavorable balance of trade so whenever a country is passing through the developmental process it needs more of machineries it needs more of technical assistance from foreign economies that's why in that phase the country will be importing more and exporting less so in that times the balance of trade will be very unfavorable for that economy then this is when it gets to a similar stage in the business cycle also so to conclude balance of trade and balance of payment are two important important contents of an economy that show how the economy is working that shows the progress of that economy so in the next video we will be studying about the another concept that is balance of payment thank you